Hi, my name is Nazar and in this video series, I'm going to be explaining you about how you can make your computer run faster as it is running right now. So as I was going to explain you, but let me tell you about my introduction. So I just wanted to show you that I'm actually working with computers for a very long time and I have most of the experience working with Windows. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining you how you can manage to make it much more faster as it is working right now. So let me just give you one example what actually happened that the reason I'm going to explain you so I was going for some place and I just found some guy who was actually going to buy a new computer the reason behind buying a new computer was his computer was working pretty slow so I just opened up Photoshop in that computer and it was taking for example one or two minutes to open and load up the Photoshop so I was messed up that why the reason is that its computer is working very slow was all of the things are there and he is not cleaned up anything so in this video I'm going to go ahead and clean all of the waste file which is not been used and it is going to take loading of your computer and that's how the computer speed gets low so let me just go ahead and explain you quickly that how we can do that so as you can see in front of your screen that this is my desktop screen and and as you can see there are a lot of icons so many a times what happens if you find some movie which is your favorite or which you want to watch it in the next couple of days you can go ahead and take that movie and paste it on your desktop so you get reminder and you just open it and play it but in case you can make it a shortcut for that so let me just go ahead and explain you about the shortcuts as you can see it in front of your screen there are a lot and lot of icons on my desktop so there is one recycle bin which you must be having everyone has so let me just go ahead and explain you all of the things which is there so there you can see in place of here there is my iTunes now it is a shortcut why it is a shortcut because there you can see one arrow which is going to determine that it is a shortcut and from that arrow I understand that it's a shortcut as you can see it right over here there is no shortcut and I had pasted one movie which is taking 1.37 GB that is lot of space which is taken by my PC so whenever my computer turn on it is going to load up all of these things and that's the reason RAM and all of the things are taking loading because it is actually loading all of this on your PC whenever it turns on so it is taking 1 GB of time because the RAM is actually working on it and that's how it is going to take time whenever it starts up so when I go ahead and hit on the properties you can see it takes 1.37 GB and in place of shortcut if I hover over here and click on properties of iTunes on the details you will see that it takes 1.77 KB that is very less as compared to movie so you must always do one thing that if I go inside my this PC you must always go ahead and as you can see it says 18.64 GB let me reduce it because it is going to take some drive space on my C drive and C drive is where actually Windows has been installed so as you can see it right over here I'm going to decrease it just by removing my movie right over here if I go ahead and delete it it's gonna go away and second thing always keep your recycle bin empty so let me just go and see the properties as you can see that it is taking a lot of the space so let me just go ahead and empty my recycle bin okay so now if I go in my PC there you see 2 GB of space is been removed from my C drive and that's how it is gonna take some less space so you know that how it determined that what is the size as you can see 102 MB and shortcut takes less space so I'll see you in the next one I think you might understand about shortcuts and all of the big projects so see you in the next one